What's up guys, this is Luxtrack9 here, bringing you a video on how to kill the Gorgons in the 390 version of Vault of Glass. Now, uh, most of you know that this is necessary to uh, complete the book, it's one of the challenges in the raid category for your Age of Triumph book. Um, so in this video, I'll be giving you a tutorial on beating each Gorgon in the maze and your builds. Starting with the builds, it's recommended that you have at least two Hunters who are using Tether, a Titan who's on Sunbreaker, and a Sunsinger Warlock. Those are the bare requirements. Everyone should be running a sword. Um, please, you should not use Boltcaster. Boltcaster does very little damage. Dark Drinker and Raise Letter are two swords that do a tremendous amount of damage. So once you form your team of at least two Night Stalkers, one Sunbreaker, and one Sunsinger, you should be about ready to start the challenge and uh, kill all the Gorgons. Make sure to stock up on Heavy Ammo Synth, as you will be needed to kill the Gorgons. It is also recommended you use the Radagast Memory, uh, which is an artifact by the Iron Banner. It will allow you to hold more sword ammo, so this will be helpful. Down in the description of this video uh, is included a link to a picture of the Gorgon Maze map. This will allow you to map out and coordinate which Gorgons you want to take out first. Thanks to Tauxfox for creating this, found on Reddit. Um, you can note here, Gorgons 1 and 2 are on the right, next to the secret, next to one of the chests. Gorgon 3 is one that patrols kind of close to where you will start. Gorgon 4 is stationary. Gorgon 5 is patrolling the right side, which is a little bit of a different route that you would use to exit. Uh, Gorgon 6 is one that patrols entirely around the high rock you normally jump off of, and then the rest of them are further in the back. The group I was with, we did a somewhat unorthodox order. We did the 1 and 2 and 3 all the same. Uh, we then took out 4, actually, and then we took out 6 as our 5th instead. Uh, and then after we took out the 6th, uh, we decided to go for the 10th and caught it around the side rock up towards uh, the top left of the map. We then took out the, um, the number 9 uh, Gorgon, and after the number 9, we took out the number 11. The 11 is really easy to hit, so we decided to go for the harder ones first. We then decided to um, go over and target Gorgon 5. After we targeted 5, we uh, killed the stationary, number 7, and after the stationary, we killed the 8 roaming around. So that was our order. Uh, we had three hunters, one warlock, and two titans. One of the titans was on a melting point, and one of the titans was on weapons of light, but we actually never used it. That's important to remember. Uh, you can continue watching the rest of the video. It shows you exactly what we did, how we, the timing we coordinate for our heavy synth. I'll fast forward through all the slow parts, but for the most part, you should just notice that we're popping heavy synths to always have sword ammo. It's recommended to have at least 25 energy in your sword before attempting a, a gorgon. We also made sure we had Melting Point, and Vanish and Smokes were the best thing to use on an approach, as it saves you some time because the Gorgon will not spot you until you already start hitting it, which gives you a, maybe two seconds of extra DPS, but that's often very useful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll let the rest play. If you liked it, please uh, feel free to give the video a like, maybe even a comment, and if you want more Destiny tutorials, click subscribe. Thanks!
I know you. 